Hi guys, it's Heather from Winberg Bathworks. I am going to be working on a Collins Roll Soap today for this one's Soap Challenge Club. Um, modified my recipe a little bit. Um, I upped my olive oil and I'm not using any shea butter in this one. Um, I don't like the smell of my shea butter, so I decided not to use it. Um, and I think shea butter is still in the mail, so don't have any shea butter right now, but it should still be a really nice bar. Uh, I'm going to use black raspberry vanilla from Brambleberry. It's one of my favorites. I also have more of that in the mail, too, because I'm almost out. Um, something quite cool today. Um, everything's really about 85 or so today. I'm just going to bring it up to a lot of And I'm going to do five colors. A white, a black, a pink, a blue, and a purple. Than it. I just grabbed the top bowl and it happened to be one of my disposable Gladware bowls and they are really not that great to work with. If you're on a budget, they work great, but they're hard to get all your little bits and pieces out of. They just have too many little nooks and crannies. better in titanium dioxide and you don't get any river or anything. And it doesn't tend to sorry. And it looks nice and sparkly. And you still get a pretty good white. Not maybe not as ultra bright as titanium dioxide. But um, let me grab one of these. This is it in the background of my lavender and basil and it is a nice white. Nice and bright still. Brambleberry mixed with a little ruby veg. <laughs> and it gives me a nice bright raspberry. Conservatory with a very, very tiny bit of um, ruby red in it. I just wanted more of a red based purple. This is sapphire mica from Conservatory. And a 
blue is not a traditional color for black raspberry vanilla, but I wanted some just another color in there. So let's go. Uh, also, one of the fragrances I meant is bergamot, and uh, for some reason I always associate bergamot with blue. And I have no idea why. It's a mystery. And then a little um, activated charcoal. Fuck. This is the only black I use. Um, I use these black mica, but and, well, black oxide. But both I found. The color bleeds too much, and I'm not really a fan of gray water. to do my little haul. But we have eight inches of snow on the ground and my poor little car got stuck on the way to work. So I didn't even get to go to work today. So I took a box from my husband's um, aftershave lotion, put a couple pieces of the soap I don't like in it, and covered it with paper, and it actually makes a pretty good call. So let's get started. I'm excited. I've wanted to try the column core for a while. I just, um, I don't know why I didn't do it yet. Just didn't get around to it yet. I wiped the edge of the cup. I use one finger for each color. So it's kind of handy that I had five colors today. I might have had to spread another finger. Well, I do notice on this far side there's a little bubble in the paper and it's going down in two lines of color instead of one, which is okay. So it looks pretty cool. I'm not overly fussy. Mmm, love the smell of this black raspberry vanilla. And I extra love the fact that it's got vanilla, but it's not going to uh, go brown. Extra love. So it's all looking pretty good, except that one side. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. And have a really different pattern on it. Um, just realized I forgot my sodium lactate, so. Hopefully it will be um, hard enough to cut in time to get the link up. Of course my sleeve starts coming down. 
Uh, sure, you hate that and something like your sleeve starts off rolling or your nose gets itchy and you can't do anything about it because you're pouring soap. a lot more mini layers rather than um, like the larger pores, but I really like the way it looks. It's more like a psychedelic zebra this way. Uh, Rosemary pink. I love the way that color comes out. The um, last time I made black raspberry vanilla, I used a supposed non bleeding dye. Well, it bled so bad that it stained everything it touched. Um, including my tabletop, where the soap was sitting for maybe an hour. Yeah, it stained it. So I ended up having to throw out the entire batch because I would have had to, um, tiny bit of pink. I would have had to rebatch it with a lot of extra soap to, um, make up for the color and I use barely any. I use like a quarter to an eighth of a teaspoon in a three pound batch. Yep. And I contacted the company and they told me, oh no, it's never bled in any of our tests. So I asked for an ingredient list on it and it's just a DNC dye. Um, it's known for bleeding. So that was my first experience with this fragrance. So I love the smell, but I've never actually had a soap that I can use that I had black raspberry vanilla. I'm just trying to use up the last of my colors, so there's an extra blue layer in here. I probably should have done black first. But it's all good. And I will just use that um, all after soap on my first sample stuff. And yeah, make a mess everywhere. Messy, messy. Alright, I'm just going to grab a skewer. Well, it's a dowel from my kid's dowel set. And I'm actually going to drag it towards the middle. Drag on the axes that were made from the core first.
Nice. And then they will probably look totally black to you guys. But there is definitely a lot of purple and blue swirling in there. It's pretty. my bed or a little thicker, I wouldn't be wasting so much on my paper towel, but um, I don't want it to drip all over my pretty soap as I go back <laughs> and start sticking again. Very pretty, and the middle is all purple and blue and black swirl. I quite like it. Um, didn't quite make enough white to get more of the contrast in there, but it is very pretty in person. Um, I'm going to put my dividers in. Get that backwards. I should have done the side ones first. I always do that. I'll be glad when my silicone liner gets here and I don't have to worry about this anymore. quite liquid so I'm trying not to wash it around too much. Glitter from the sage. I'm trying not to spill a whole bunch on here. Like that. Um, I 
I don't put a before because um, I've heard from some people that they find the glitter a little bit scratchy. So I'd rather not have it all over the sides as well because the um, separators will push them down. So I just put it on top and then if folks don't want the glittery part, they can just um, they can just wash it off pretty easily. I, however, love the glitter because I just pull sparkly things. Get her off. And I spray it really well with alcohol to help with ash. And I also find it really adheres the glitter on there. There we go. And I will be back with uh, an unmolding video. Um, should be just tacked on to the end of this one because I can't put this one up anyway because it only does not open until the 11th. So, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful evening. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back. I am going to unmold Black Raspberry Vanilla. It turned it super pretty. It's extra sparkly. Um, I actually took it out of the mold yesterday to let it Kind of dry out a bit more. I could have unmolded it yesterday, and it always takes days for me to be able to unmold my soap. Um, I think the issue, I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I use a lot of palm oil, it takes forever for me to be able to unmold my soap, which doesn't make sense. The palm's hard, shouldn't make it soft, but um, it's really the only thing I could think that would be doing it. Little sticky still on the inside of the mold. Yes, that is nice and hard, but watching the tracking on my silicone liner for this mold and all my other soapy goodies. And FedEx is of course taking substantially longer than the four to five day shipping that I pay for. Which always happens with FedEx. Um, they're late 100% of the time. And they won't do anything about it. Oh, they complain and they just say, um, sorry, can't make our trucks go any faster. I can actually ship something to USPS to Canada faster than FedEx can get something that's not even like the other side of the country. Er. Hooray! Alright. Sit up close. Um, yeah, we little heavy glitter in the one in the middle, but I was mine, so that's quite alright. I love glitter. Glitter maniac. Okay. And I love when you use the dividers and you get the like dragging marks on the side. Uh for some reason it reminds me of uh like spray paint. It looks like graffiti to me. I I just love the look of it. Yeah, look at the glitter. figure out which one of these I want to use as my picture for the link up. That was probably my head last time. Um, all the other times I've done the link up it's never made me use a picture. 
last time, made me use a picture and then took the video to load in the first place. And then I had to get a picture and my husband was waiting for me. It just didn't go so well. And the bottoms all look like purple and pink marble with little bits of blue in them. I am extremely happy with how this turned out. These are very pretty. Hmm. My, uh, apparently my dividers were a little pinch, so my bed's not quite rectangle, it's all right. No one will notice. Yeah, it's really sticky on the inside still, which is quite normal with this mold. I mean, you can leave it for like five days, and ooh, pretty. And it'll, um, the bars will pull away from the sides more as they dry, but, um, I want to get this done so I can move it up tomorrow. I love that. That is pretty. Too much glitter on that one. <laughs> I need to figure out how Holly does that with the little, um, little dropper bottle type thing and she does her glitter with that I got some I tried it it did not work well it really didn't it, one bottle the glitter won't even come out of and the other bottle the top came off of and sprayed a lot of glitter everywhere a lot of glitter And you can tell how much pressure I'm putting on the top of these. They are pretty solid. Just the sides are sticky. It's cool. I think I might actually call this one black raspberry vanilla graffiti or something like that. Because um, I'm liking the graffiti look. I think this one wants to come in next. really have an order on which I unmold these. I just take whichever one seems the loosest. Now this one is the one I'm keeping for me. It's got some bright pink on the bottom, but the rest is mostly blue, black, and purple. And it kind of... <laughs> um, I may have gotten a little overzealous with my glitter in the middle there. I've got a little overzealous with all of my glitter. It's an addiction. So far. Swirly. I'm just happy to finally have a batch of black raspberry vanilla that um, worked because, uh, like I said, the last batch really sucked. And I'm 
loving, loving the hot pink, raspberry pink I came up with. I think it looks a little red on camera, but it is like a really bright fuchsia-y raspberry pink, and I absolutely love it. Um, I like those two. Hooray! Thanks for watching, guys. Um, my next item should finally be some lotion that I keep saying I'm going to do and I haven't gotten around to yet. Um, I have to make some lotion for Christmas stuff. Um, ooh. I'm wanting to send out my Christmas baskets on Friday. It's probably Thursday night, a couple days. Um, yeah, I'll probably have a video up on Friday. Uh, have a good night, guys, and stay safe. Bye!